Hello, my name is Philip Johnson, and I'm the chaplain here at Good Samaritan Society, Lake Forest Village. Because we can't be together right now, our team has worked on creating more video and virtual offerings for our community during this time. So today, I'd like to offer us a short devotional. Our reading today comes from the Psalms, Psalm 100. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name, for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. A couple of thoughts about this psalm. The Psalms, also known as the Psalter, was the prayer book of the Israelites. The Psalms also are poetry, uh, and they're also the lyrics to music. The Psalms function many different ways. And it's easy to dismiss this psalm as nothing more than a feel-good psalm about uh, the power and praise of God. But I think it's helpful for us. We are invited into a session of joyfulness and thankfulness. And sometimes we have to be invited into joyfulness and thankfulness because we're not particularly feeling joyful or thankful. This season has been a difficult one uh, and many days have not been joyful uh, or been cause to give thanks. But I think it's important to be reminded that we always have a reason to be joyful and thankful. Not always happy, but joyful. Verse 3 reminds us to know that the Lord is God. To be reminded that we are not God. There are Philip-sized problems and God-sized problems. And when Philip tries to address God-sized problems, the result is always unsatisfactory. So it is helpful for me to know that the Lord is God and that I am not. Verse 3, it is he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. If you remember in our passage from Ezekiel, God announced himself as the shepherd of the people able to fulfill everything in a way that the leaders of the people weren't. Verse 4, enter his gates with thanksgiving. An appropriate verse as we prepare for Thanksgiving Day, a day that we set aside to be together and to give thanks. Verse 5, for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. I think it's important to be reminded that God's love, unlike everything else, is forever. I don't know how long the coronavirus will last or how long these current restrictions will last that we're having to abide by in our community, but I suspect and know that they are temporary, just like everything else. Everything except God's love and faithfulness, as the psalm reminds us. So if you would allow me, I would like to pray for us this morning. God, we thank you that you are God, that you are faithful, and that you are loving. 
and that your faithfulness and love are forever, unlike everything else. Amen. I hope you have a good day today.